probably eating well, probably, you find, what is it? How old are you? I'm, uh, 286. 86. Mm -hmm. Are you the oldest one here? Hmm? Are you the oldest one here? What? Are you the oldest? I think so. Where were you born? Where, where, what's your hometown? Well, Canton. Yeah. So how long did you live there? How many years? Well, off and on until 30... Thirty-four or something, yeah. and then I went to Beijing yeah. for a year, and then to Shanghai for two years, yeah. and then Sichuan, wow. Chengdu, for another thirty-six, forty, forty-four. Yeah. That's for school. For school and then uh, my my residency in I left eye. Your son's calling. Oh, okay. Yeah, on one. So, so, so I went to a small town. Now it's uh, it take uh, a whole day's driving from Chengdu, but now they have a tunnel. Only a few minutes you get there. It's about uh, about two years, I think. Uh, country, country, country doctor, general practice. You did? Hmm? You did that? I did that for two years. Yeah. But it was. Mm -hmm. It was Chinese medicine or American or Western? American uh, medicine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did you get around? How did you drive? Walk? You don't drive. You people, two people carry you through the mountain. And the it's a tall mountain, yeah. yeah. But now they have a tunnel to go through the mountain. How did you know where to go? Where did you where would you go? You they, go from one city, one town to the next. They they know how to go. Yeah. The carrier and how how to go. Where did you? How do you know where 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 which where to go? I mean, which village? Which just go around each the, one. The country go called Jianyang. Jianyang people come to my office also. So, for the missionary, it's easy to do country practice. But for individual, you no supply, no friend to talk to, and you are alone. So, during when the cholera epidemic, I know. It's coming because every seven years, people's immunity go down and it come again. So it's about, I know it's a figure, it's about seven years. And then I have a, a bring a bottle of a chemical pure um, saline salt. And uh, in Cora, you only die from dehydration, but you su supplement them with uh, water. You tie them over until their immunity develop. They survive. So I have to uh, use a wood wooden container. To come to the, go to the uh, alcohol factory, 
to get the first diffused water. And then when I get to my office, I use the old-fashioned way to distill the alcohol. I distill this. You do this, make it yourself. Second, second distilled water. Saline, also saline solution up to the use a third distilled water. But I just dispense with it. But when when people have the diarrhea and vomiting, their veins co co collapse. Really? Collapse. But you, if you get in the vein, is you're lucky. But also, I have to, I had to save uh, saline, so I gave the veterinary big needle put in the muscle, yeah. and the uh, thigh so big. Oh, you just inject and then it right in. Inject it right in. Wow. That's a uh, ordinary salt water. Uh, also, the body keeps enough fluid. It's a oh, normal saline. It's a nine percent, nine gram for for a thousand cc. So I inject here. Just conserve water, and then when you do when I get in the when I get get them a get them a. Get them uh, so they can so they live long enough. So they live long enough to they become to they, they develop immunity. They survive. But um, there a German trained doctor. It's away from me from seven kilometer another time. He gave a um, uh, vessel constrictor. Just give you a shot, your vessel constrict, then you have enough food for a while. So you... But that's not an adequate treatment. You die afterwards anyway. But I... I don't eat in the morning. I went out. I ate in the, a big, a big, big breakfast in the morning, and went out to the market to give injection. Till uh, in the evening, I come home. Then uh, everything is uh, cooked, steam. So I eat because once I get caught, uh, nobody treat me. So, so uh, after two weeks, the epidemic is still going on, but I, I get exhausted. I went to town and went to Chengdu and have a vacation and died. But uh, in the third world country, you call uh, every now and then uh, India and uh, China and so forth. Now the, the communists come, they have uh, immunity, they, at least they have... Um, pe China, Chinese people don't, don't drink coffee. They always buy their tea. So, um, like the, the construct the Pacific Railway, the Irish start from the east, the Chinese start from the west, and the Irish drink the fight, and then and on Monday usually they don't work, they're drunk, but Chinese don't drink. The Chinese like to drink gamble, but Chinese drink hot tea. So ch the Chinese don't have any diarrhea. So that's why the Chinese won the, won, 
win the, the race. So in China, you don't drink cold water. You always say, buy water or cool your water. And you don't ice, but cool water is good. And, but they don't drink cold water, uh, put ice in. So, so many Chinese, when they come to the United States, they don't, don't drink cold water. That's, uh, I know a few couple like that. So there's a reason for not drinking cold water. You get sick from yeah. different kinds of disease. So um, that's just one example how the, it's uh, impossible to do kind of country practice. Uh, they always blame people, don't go to small town and the country to do practice. I did for two years. Once uh, they have a car wreck and people become uncon unconscious, unconscious, they just dump it in the city gate, near the closed city gate, there to die. So I, I went there and put ointment in their eye and uh, put wrestling eye and tip their eyes until to preserve their cornea. But uh, afterwards, somebody transport them to the to change to this this big city, but they die on the road because the bumpy hill. See, so um, that's one example. Very hard to do uh, country beds. At that time, we have a, don't have the miracle drug with the penicillin. Well, we have a sulfur drug. So sulfur drug take care of many things. But um, in those days, you treat syphilis with arsenic. It is called Salveson, the Neo Salveson, the German invention, chemotherapy. You, but you have to be careful. If you inject it outside the vein, you, you will form ulcer. You have to get into the vein. And then I know. Um, uh, You were, during the war, lots of syphilis, people move around. And uh, I brought along the service of news. And, uh, but uh, in our old teaching, in our uh, orthodox teaching is, you, you try this, Establish whether they are uh, civilists or not. You have count, count, KKHN. So they come, uh, I draw blood and, and do the count test. My wife learned to be a technician. And then uh, they couldn't come back. They think uh, you give them a shot. So the People usually just give them directly salvation, your salvation. I didn't know, but you cannot do the orthodox way. But uh, you have to modify. But uh, then you have new salvation, arsenic, and then the heavy metal, Christmas, I think, intramuscularly. And um, otherwise, they develop uh, secondary syphilis and tertiary syphilis is uh, uh, neurosyphilis. They lose their mind. But then, uh, 1929, you have penicillin. The after, I think, 30, 
one or two or four, they begin to use it. But in our days, you have the penicillin, but they restrict use to the to the army. The civilian, you don't get access to it. But after the war, penicillin is they they know know how to mass use. There are plenty of them. There's a wonder drug. But um, even after the war, it's uh, it's uh, restricted use because uh, they they only give to the people they they um, the important people or the army or anybody. And then um, in 1940, in America, you could before you do the internship, you will get the get the diploma, doctor, so and so. But in China, the tradition is you must do the internship. So graduating from school in 1944, uh, 1940. And then into the Red Cross to, to become to take my internship in Shanxi, and then uh, I also was uh, the friend of the wounded soldier. I was the captain. I went to the small town for past 1944, but I went to my internship 1940. So the government don't give enough army hospital enough money. So they just when the wounded soldier or sick soldier come, they leave it outdoor and they die enough. So their money is enough to sustain them. So. And also they have, uh, if they capture a, a Japanese soap, the first thing they get their small packet or container, chlorine put in water to drink, and also they have a few drugs uh, like malaria and quinine and, uh, and so forth. They get it, but uh, the Chinese soldier also developed what we call night blindness because why do A you should deficient cross night blindness. So now you don't eat we say too much. In those days you have to feed them fat because uh, what I mean is less soluble. Unless they have fat, they, they don't get the body. So the Chinese soldier developed two things. Malaria, night blindness. They cannot fight in the evening. So junk I said is uh, just trick on. They, when they conscribe people from villages, they tie their neck and put it in the temple until they die enough they send it for to fill the quota and uh, you can see the soldiers all tired in the neck and, and walk in the string that's how Chiang Kai-shek fought the war and uh, there's a chemi biochemistry teacher come to my my restaurant, I had a restaurant in West School Day, uh, Western Style. They used my oven to develop the biscuit. You know, vitamins and fat and everything. And they went to Chongqing to have a conference with those, those big shots. They said, oh, too much. Just get them more wise. They don't know if you without all the vitamins and, and fat and so forth, 
You can of course run live because the smoke gives away where the troops are. Gives away you where you and um, when I the friend of in the soul in uh, uh, friend uh, uh, wounded soldier every Sunday I buy fat and fit them and put in a big basket and they they in the kitchen to the hospital but um, you have to follow them because they carried home they don't go there and so so well, they take it to their families their family so <coughs> you friend this winter soldier you do such a thing and also during the day they wound cover flies and uh, that's a Chinese in there's a two orthopedic surgeons in Shanghai they like chocolate so they put chocolate in a jar and they suddenly shut the jar to, to exclude the fire to, to catch the fire but they don't catch a single one because the fire fly to the side because the eyesight is not too good to fight but they dark light light and dark and the, the bird want to catch them they fly away from the the shadow so they dawn on them two American orthopedic surgeon he's, he, he's the first one to build passage in Germany, you know? Yep, in the back door. In the back door. Yeah. So, I build the mud, mud, use mud brick give the passage and then use straw to make the roof. It's dark. During the day, you have no fire. At least you have the, the window so you can. But in the evening, there's no way to exclude the mold because all the window I use the sieve, the screen to use bamboo to step it and then it do the dark passage. At least they can uh, have a, a good day sleep. But then they have scabies, you know what scabies? Yeah. So they are typhus because uh, <coughs> the laws, the lies. <coughs> so you have to, we use big walk and use wooden container, make a big ones to hang their clothes there. And then a single walk, you have to empty. It's two, three o'clock in the morning, you awake and get all the matches, all the their clothes to steam it. To oh, yeah, eliminate the water in the water uh, just boil uh, up. Yeah, to eliminate the, the, the lice and also eliminate the scabies. Then after the scabies, after they, they take a bath, you use uh, sulfur and lime water to mix it up to treat the scabies so it's a hard work and, uh, and every night uh -huh. but the American doctor just do an operation and a beautiful from PUMC Green Union Medical College found by the, the uh, Rockefeller Foundation they are good doctors but they, they have no heart. They don't, they pay much on all day and do few operations. But since Lynn's day, a wound, the soldier die less than six soldiers. In six, the First World War, the Americans used a big, long 
cylindrical uh, container to put the protein to the to delousing, delicing. So we have to delice and give them birth, birth, bath, and then give them soba and 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 calcium and lot water to treat their scabies. So don't know how Chiang Kai said win the war, win the war. But Chiang Kai said actually is uh, ignorant. Those people they don't have brain at all. So um, they think uh, oh prices are low and everything is uh, no inflation. They don't know when they get ahead the, their gods get ahead the restaurant uh, to lower the price. So it's uh, the price is low and it's always there. Yeah. Uh, high prices. Yeah. yeah. So uh, so it's uh, actually uh, Mother Flu. He he didn't fight the war at all. So that's why when Hamas come, they lost. They, the, the communists know when they get to one place, they build boats. They do the lousing, the lousing. And uh, there are few people actually keep uh, Mao Zedong the advice and Peter at least can fight. The, the Chiang Kai-shek's army cannot fight. Malaria, nibrinus, malnutrition, scabies, and everything. So, uh, but the American trained doctor, Pahom PC, they have no heart. They don't do all this thing. They march on all day and do a few operations. But one operation at least cost American dollar. If you do the licensing and everything to do the prevention, you cost you know money, not very little money, but you save lots of life. But uh, Chiang said, "Mother food is just uh, through and." Uh, it's a pitiful. You see, us conscribed tied to the neck and go into a, a string, go into the temple and so forth, and then go there to die and die enough. They they, they send them to the front, and then the the, the front end they just count how many body they accept. That's all. So uh, that's why Stilwell, you know Stilwell? Yeah. Got into argument with uh, Chiang Kai Shek yeah. because he doesn't see the, the, the problem. So after the Manish, the five after the war, they the American advisor advised them not to go into uh, Manchuria, but they still a soldier the same to to Manchuria and just send them all the ammunition. That's all. Become this send the communist all the cost. Russian occupy the. So Manchuria will. So if the Y Manchuria in two sections, you cannot cross. But in the evening, they allow the communists to cross. They don't allow the enemy soldier to cross. So the still, still was trained me. Send the Manchuria all and I and I annihilated. And uh, and uh, they just send the come on mission. Work. Combination to the Americans. So next thing they 
Now, more than that, why is this? We treat the soul to the, the gray wall, consolidate your defense there. Chiang Kai said, don't listen. And then they lost Guqing, lost uh, Yangtze River, and then uh, the, they think they cannot cross the Yangtze, they cross it. Because uh, quite the communist uh, one, they go parallel to the Chinese uh, soldier. The Chinese soldier, if they eliminate it, they don't have enough uh, uh, money to sustain the army. They just don't fight. And the communists give them money and give them they did the country and well up the city. So that's how the the Jungai army was uh, defeated. For, uh, but the the Ameri the the communist is uh, with the people. So uh, the if the Follow your matches, your wooden plan for uh, bed and so forth. When they live, they replace everything before they live. So they they know the important. They get all the everything, and the Chinese just fight blindly. And uh, the Chiang Kai Shek soldier. That's why he he he, he lost. Although he has a big army, but um, just so I, I, I was in the country in 1944 or 5. There's no transportation back home. Everybody wanted to go home because the atomic bomb come in China, uh, America, uh, in in uh, just. And uh, you know the the Nanking massacre. They killed two, three Chinese, and uh, want to scare China, China in this uh, submission. But when they saw in 1945, the Chinese make them strip uh, garbages. So when they finish, they lower their head and sweep the, all the garbage, they pour some more, and they sweep the coal some more. Because of the soldiers. Also reason. But during the war, the uh, these soldiers, they don't give notice. They stand up the red flag. That means you don't cross the street. But they are very good in shooting. Use rifle, but at, at the hip level. You cross to it, you shoot, you're Shot. dead. So people know where flags up, you sit on the sidewalk. You don't go. And when you catch you for some reason, they give you Chinese water torch. Do you know what Chinese water torch is? They open a, a faucet, drip by drip water, drip under your nose, your, your tongue, and slip there. And then, pretty soon you have to swallow through water, through mouthful of water, until you are full, they step on your stomach to empty the water, and drip, and drip you again. That's uh, the Chinese. That's why your generation don't hate the, Chi the American we, uh, the, the Japanese we consider them enemy because uh, they really cool. So it was actually but the Japanese. The did Japan. that, did that water. Yeah, these guys use the Chinese water torture so called. So, uh, did you ever see anybody that had that? I heard. One hand here, I got him over here. Uh, 
he, he, because he was an electrician and plumber, he'd go, army came to repair, repair, uh, to reparation, and then, then he had those dogs, those police doctors. They beat the dog, they give him a Chinese water torture. So, so... Is this somebody that you brought to America? Yeah. So, uh, he, he said, well, the, the Chinese, the, the American really, the, the Japanese give you just the Chinese water torture is enough to, to suffer a lot. And finally, he was lucky that he relieved because he's useful, he's a technician to relieve him. But the ordinary Chinese, they don't relieve him until they die. So the Japanese ruthless. And uh, up to now, they still, their history book don't, don't mention the Nanking massacre and uh, the, all the all the, uh, all the all the atrocities they perform in China different because uh, like the communists they disrupt the uh, transportation. You know how they do it? They use ropes. 10, 20 people or 30 uh, people just tip over the whole, whole rail, see? But uh, the, the, the uh, Japanese come, it, it happened to be in this district, the whole district. So, uh, uh, also the Chinese would Break to make the trains, yeah. and the Japanese would shoot them off. All, shoot all the villages. So, the, uh, well, the Americans do the same thing in Italy, too. But, uh, not in scale, like, like, the, like the Japanese. So, and then, uh, I happen to know the uh, no, uh, no uh, district company of uh, airfield. So uh, and we've got to stop for that. Running out of tape. That's how I got home. People by boat, Yangtze River, go downstream or uh, you know, so forth. They sometimes take half a year, a year before you get a, a, a get. Mm -hmm. So so many people fret the coastal city and go to the uh, so. And I was lucky, I know the school, uh, all the schools went mm. Yeah, there's five 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 universities in our campus. So uh, the you want to know anything about Tibet? I don't know about you. Yeah, you went to Tibet? A border town of Tibet. When was that? 1936. The American and Canadian had an expedition. 
I worked in the anatomy department for a year injected cadaver to preserve them. For a year to earn enough money to join the expedition. What so kind I of expedition was it? They do the survey about the diet and the stature of the, Amer uh, the Tibetan. We took a picture, the profile. The Tibet look very much like the American Indian. So we think, we theorize, must walk over to the Berlin State straight to, to come to America. So they don't wash their face. This is if you wash their face, your face, it cracks because a hundred, uh, uh, 1800 or 1600 elevation, the ultraviolet. See, they don't wash, so they, they, they have typhus. They have a sick, they were nearly disease, but they, they, they don't have other thing. They don't have any uh, tuberculosis there because you cough, tuberculosis, and droplet infection. See, the ultra wily cure the germ. So um, their custom is one way by seven brother and sister. What? Just the reverse. Yeah. So one woman. One, one, one wife yeah. belonged to seven brothers. Yeah. So because they, they didn't go to India, sometimes don't come home one or two years. So plus all illegitimate, illegitimate child, one wonder why everybody fit them. They don't consider us. Uh, and the Lama temple, they talk about Indian, talk about uh, how the Chinese exploit them. They don't know how they treat their, they cut their hand off, and uh, the, the, the rich people has lots of serf. And uh, they don't, uh, uh, India and uh, just try to occupy Tibet. They don't know mention about those things. So Americans don't read history. They're ignorant about the past. See, the Chinese fight, fought the in, you know, the Mahan line. Divide China and Indian territory with a line called Mahan Line. Chinese don't recognize it. India, after independence, they they occupy lots of this territory. This is uh, 1962. The Indian and, uh, and the Chinese. Do you know how how the how they war? They build a, a circle of, they only have a few trucks and go and round and round and they, they, they deceive the Indian. Also, oh, they have lots of trucks. Lots of trucks. And also, this a, a mountain way is impossible to pass. The Chinese lower the soldier one by one until they get enough number. And then the Indian soldiers, they are trained by the British. When they lunch time, they all step up their rifle and eat lunch. And that's the time the Chinese come. But the, the Chinese, you come on 
is an expert in guerrilla war. One state which did Japan there's a lot of uh, DNA you know, of course. They say we we, we don't recognize uh, the behind line but we will retreat and in the future we solve this problem. So they retreat, they don't fight a war. So but uh, that's why India got the atomic bomb now because the Chinese have the atomic bomb. So the Indians humiliated. See, so well, there's another story. Uh, but, uh, Tell me more about how Tibet. long were you there? I did take you walk a day to Dajan Lu, Dajan. And then uh, you go horseback another several days to get the border of Tibet. We are not allowed to get in Tibet at that time. Then uh, there's a, uh, I think it's under Indians uh, at that time. And, um, but uh, the border town of Tibet, uh, just like you got in the Tibet. They had Rambo and everything. The Lama, monk, but they have wives. So, uh, lots of uh, the illusion nowadays to talk about Dalai Lama, uh, how important he is, uh, Nobel Prize and everything. They don't know about, about Tibet because India and and uh, and uh, British try to try to occupy India. Uh, I mean uh, Burma. Maybe less than a week, when, but this a uh, Qing Dynasty official. They cut a bloody way into Tibet. Even today, the Tibetan tell him they tremble, but they establish several. The horse, one horse, uh, one man come to the horse, one station. All the stations has hot spring. And they come to the Ula horse, Ula. That's a conscribed horse. You come, even our day, it's a dollar, but it's many more dollars uh, when you hide from the uh, official way. But we 
know the message tree. We get the horse a dollar a day, and then uh, there's so, so many days get in border Tibet. I forget how many days, but uh, the same well comes when the long march. Really? But uh, you can see all the 1934. All the horse, uh, the cow, the bone, and the human skull, so forth, like a small hill all along the road. Because the, 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 the bad day is a two, two point determinant uh, strip. They use three, they have another bamboo bent over. So the line of the three lines, they, all the, turns to the communists, they shoot them. They don't have to turn them bullets, they have to save bullets. So finally the communists buy them, give them money to get past. The, the so-called grassland, Chaudi, is, you don't, you don't know the action, but the interpreter know know where to go. So the Tibetan has waterproof uh, gown in the evening they, they they sleep so wide. When they sleep they put under the, the head and the uh, and the, the gown is waterproof. So they they in the grassland. But the it comes to die like flies. Because so all they have all get all wet. They're all wet. So we walked through the same way we, we went to this, uh, this all human bone and animal bones, like, like a small hill. Every now and then we see things. And uh, I think it's a uh, hundred thousand. Uh, when they went to uh, Yenan, there's uh, so only 8,000 left. So they died like that. But anyway, they, we, we get to the border of uh, that. And, uh, and there's a whole lot of time occupied the city. And he is a big temple, but they use wires. It's like put there uh, at the place. But when the Tibet rebel, Tibetan rebel, they just cut it off. They have rice, they have no water. But uh, the Lama Temple, the small Buddhas, the whole ring of them put on the big Buddha. Uh, you can pocket one or two and get rich, but uh, but uh, w w when you when you see this scene when they come back from India, I say, thirty forty of them, all in wet rope, and the wind blow the rope in the horseback. It's a beautiful scene, but. Uh, They are uh, uh, in the Ganji Khan, Mongolian, and Tibet. Why the Mongolian no more uh, power? Because we say syphilis uh, is queen of sterility, and gonorrhea is king of. Uh, what sterility? Uh, you mean venereal disease? The, wipe them out. The wipe. Really? And also in Tibet, in this venereal disease, they don't have a, the, the high elevation. They don't have tuberculosis or anything. But um, their dog is a fierce, fierce, and uh, when they take them 
fish came in the evening, they cleared the all around our docks. We got the camp. Got the camp. So, uh, I think it's eight or ten days on horseback, all a day. But the good thing is that uh, every day you stop, you get a hot spring. You take a bath and sit on top of the hill and see the scenery. Very pretty. That's the the, the Qing Dynasty official established the station. A, a piece of a man and a, and a, and a, and a horse. But the um, revolution, they beheaded the official. But his rule in Tibet still exists until these days, until our time that the man takes. But uh, when, the, when the horses come, I just sit quietly there. I, I know the switch horses, so I, I, I got it. Get it, but the, the Canadian, he said, he had the leader with the horse. I said, give it to them. So I get a horse. But when he goes down here, the saddle press the horse. And uh, the time I go down here, I, I walk. I walk the horse. I walk the horse. What the Canadian looking? They say we pay for it. We get a big abscess on their horse. Oh, uh, well, so finally they changed my horse. But it's a good. I said, okay, you can have it. I get another one with all abscess. But uh, they just don't know. Another thing is to care. The carrier, the, the, you call Hawkeye, there's two big pieces of bamboo and rope, and two shoulders. people with shoulders. So, you were to walk eight days to Dajian Lu. At the beginning, they carry those, those American, uh, and can, Suddenly, all the carrier disappear okay. because the opium smoke. They get a, to release this opium, they disappear. Oh, they, they get mad. They say, oh, what are they just do? I just smile. They don't know. They need the opium to, to sustain them. And I do the measurement of the team and also carry a bottle for serum to determine their breath cup, breath group. But uh, the first thing I get down the horse, I put the thermal bottle on. That's, that's all. But that I try to save money, try to not to get a camp bed. Oh, the, the, the free, they just don't come up when but they don't, cannot jump so high. Yeah. I slept like, oh, scratchy all over. So, uh, that's the Tibetan trip. So, but, uh, the, how you then? You must have been 20? 24, I think. So, uh, to us, no sun, no sun. The the mountains? Yeah, the humidity, but the, in Chengdu, the, the old flatland. Very much better, but the humidity here. Oh. So, uh, 
this is a ten foot zi huo. This is the heaven on earth. Uh, because the humidity is high, the mountain like this way through the area is big. They plan, plan uh, peas and everything, lama bean and so forth. And uh, like they eat pea pot, pea to live to eat here, very expensive here. In West China, it's very cheap. It is all through the mountain they got this. And then there's the only place, this northern, southern foot, grow in Chengdu, because uh, the weather at the northern, south mid there. So your uh, oranges, your apple, uh, and uh, your yeah, sun kiss. Yeah. Sun kiss, you know the heat. Sun kiss is not a cooperative, not a, a company. So they all their food, and then you get the big sun kiss in home, but you don't get it here. Uh. Because that's for part. You know the history? They probably got it from China, from Chengdu, and went to Spain, and went to uh, California. And then the rotation, they get one branch with little orange, with, uh, with, with seedless, but an expert in Chengdu, because I have a big camera, uh, he borrowed my camera to take picture of the horse. So who I say, uh, told me the story about uh, some kids. He said, uh, when you come to California meditation, you get French, they, they spread it too. They said, the, the skin too thick, the need to stare and occupy lots of room. And uh, he said, he was, he said, we have full of oranges in, in Chengdu. He, in the, win in the winter, when the autumn, he went around the, the branches and took it back to, next year he came back to the sleeping, come back to plant it in our campus. I said, how, how long will it take? He said, 20 years before we sell the, the important, the best species. I say, uh, take 20 years, it's just uh, 20 years before they go back in bath, and then you select the one, and then you spread it. They propagate it and all over. They said that the sun kiss they propagate too soon. First, you have to, to go, because Chinese don't have cold storage, to select the kind that near summer, and also they're good, and because of one of them is uh, plant all the lemon in, in our campus. He, he, he lent the land, the, the, the land. He said, well, that's because they all were doing cold storage or barefoot in the winter. You cannot until summer. So you have to select the right thing before you spread it. Like the golden deletes, uh, red deletes, now they have another tree. But it took time to really test it and, sp and slip enough to s for, for for uh, widespread uh, planning. So it is, well, then come the war, come the end of war. 
I don't know. He, he, he stepped up uh, uh, and uh, this uh, agriculture school, school in uh, in uh, Nanking in the world. He he belonged there. Well, but some kids of failure. Uh, tell me about when you were when you were a kid. Hmm? Growing up, a little kid. Remember. Well, when we're a kid, we don't wear shoes. Yeah. There's a swimming place. We went there, but we paid the admission. We paid one admission and one boat. And then you rode the boat to get, get into the... Those are bamboo huts. When we go, but uh, your Lai Chi and, and Lung Yen, those, uh, <coughs> you don't touch those place. The dogs fear, fears, and their rival is very uh, accurate. So we, we roll by, don't touch, don't dare to touch. Oh, because the trees are right along uh, the bank. Uh -huh. And then the uh, and near the bank is all not not a good cheese. The middle is the good night cheese. And uh, because uh, they're all food and uh, hard to preserve. So dry lychee nuts is not nuts, it's a food. And, uh, and uh, we people usually go to the city. We 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 roam around the the wild in our boyhood. And, uh, stories from them. Mm -hmm. Anything happened that was? No. Did you ever get into trouble? Where, Did Uncle Leo ever get in trouble? You were a kid. Oh, well, you know the ambassador to South Korea. Also, he was the uh, second higher official in the S. Nineteen sixty-two, I went to Taiwan. He he welcomed me. But uh, we were men in the high school. We we did about you know, f uh, fourteen people. We always together. Always uh, we're good athletes. Uh, we 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 group together and what somehow he offended us. We we didn't. We just stand, stood there and and scold. He cried. So I, in 1962, I saw him again. I said, "Well, did he remember this?" Uh, <laughs> because uh, we always have a uh, ten or fourteen people go together. Nobody can fence. Uh, many people smoke. Smoked it or I only get into practice in uh, West China uh, country practice. People don't pay in money, they pay you in egg, chicken, and rice. So a heap of cigarettes, uh, say, I try 10 a week and then I get. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. So, 
Last question is your Chinese name. Liu Chongguo. Liu is. Liu Chongguo. Yeah. And what are those? What are those words in English? What do they mean? Liu is my surname. Chongguo, worship the country. Oh, well, because I was born in 1912, after, after the uh, Qing, after the Qing Dynasty closed. What did your parents, what were your parents, what did they do? Did My do? father is um, a doctor, is the same class as the son of Sam. Do they know each other? Yeah. They're classmates. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Hello. Thank you. Do you know why I have a restaurant? Why? In West China? Oh, yeah? Yeah. No. Western style. Uh, at first, we just sell ice cream. Finally, we developed to sell everything. And um, the student gave us the recipe. We, uh, the old, uh, old uh, Western, Western University, uh, those five uh, university students, they, those days still remember my restaurant. Yeah. We uh, store, store, store the the oils in the winter and put concentrated form and put in the citric acid. Citric acid, uh, the, the Chinese, the Japanese blockade cost eight hundred dollars a pound, and hydrochloric acid because in the stomach it's only four point four percent. So I calculated, right? I use uh, hydrochloric acid is dollar seventy five a pound. And then uh, we make uh, a picking instead of strict acid and sodium glycarbon. I use alum. It's a potassium aluminum sulfate. The potassium salt gives you a little bit of taste, bitter taste. But uh, the situation at 800 dollars a pound, sodium bicarbonate is a dollar fifty a pound. And then I use sodium bicarbonate alum, alum is a local uh, uh, product. Uh, also have a little bit of taste because of potassium, you use very well little anyway. So, um, I preserve the the orange juice from in the in the winter, and then a lots of sugar, sugar and and I work I took all as it preserved it, and and we get the wine on top. In the summer we do orange pie with this wine. And then uh, we'll dilute the, the concentrate. Now, we make about 700 gen uh, profit from that. So, but the student, all the students, a fancy restaurant on the, along the street, but they close pretty soon. I don't know. We, we 
the orange juice. They have so the tricks. They have tricks. No. Uh, the orange juice extenders and uh, you eat a pork chop or anything is 25 cents plus or rice and good uh, uh, soy sauce they to soy sauce uh, they, they talk about uh, sodium good to me actually soy sauce is Oh, good, good to me. The, um, when they eat uh, a cup of 25 cents, they fill their stomach. If they eat an orange pipe, uh, it's 70 cents. It's a, a highway. We, 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 we rock their pocket. So uh, the, <coughs> the students uh, who have no money, they eat their pork chop, it's all right. But they eat something, it, uh, it collapsed. So <coughs> actually, orange pie, the wine and, and sugar and, and, and starch. Okay, tell me another story, real quick. Uh, come to America. Huh? Come to America. Oh, come to America. I, I went, I had an office to uh, Samin. Samin is a small island to my office at the American consulate there. I went there. We had to test English. So, uh, he gave me way to digest. Uh, after five tests, I just read this, the beginning and the back and uh, strong food. And I know it did a summary. So, <coughs> just five or ten minutes, uh, I'm through. He said, uh, the American consulate called William Dunn. I still remember him. Husband and wife cannot come together. But he, he was impressed. <coughs> he said, how come you are so quick? Yeah. There's a two, three hours, still haven't finished. I say he's a senior senior in the West. The Chinese. I'm a Ling Nang in the West, he used English. So that's the difference. So he talked to me for a long time and uh, about his new house in Chicago and uh, how was the vision so forth. Uh, he didn't know I, I didn't have money, cannot, cannot afford international house. But he allows us when the wife will come. So, um, because he was impressed, but uh, <coughs> Uncle Leon come here with all the picture, all the air, and he get the so weight, uh, twenty dollar for uh, twenty to a dollar or something. But I was not have no connection. It's, uh, <coughs> I got hundred or four hundred dollar for for do dollar, so I, I couldn't afford. So I, I when I came here, I got a four hundred dollars left over American dollar, and it took one day. Those days is no airplane. It's uh, the boat. The boat. Uh, also, the army transport, but uh, we have to. We was rumor had it that you cannot get a saw until unless you are the first class. Steerage is much cheaper, but just to scrub up the money for the first class ticket. 
and then during the, the 21 day, uh, the ship doctor said I have a trachoma, not glaucoma, coma, infectious disease in my eye. I said, am I doctor? I don't have trachoma. So I, I went to line up to sit there. When I got to the window, the, the say, why you come here? We will put you in jail when you get to San Francisco. I say, I just wanted a doctor. So finally, he talked to me, I'm a pharmacologist. I don't have trachoma. He charged you $100 for some sulfur drug, some vitamins and everything. I, I don't have it, and I don't have the money. So he, he become a friend of me. So he was very friendly. And uh, when uh, the, the boat up at Manila, he said, no. I just came from Japan. <coughs> no, uh, uh, this is another Jewish fellow. We call White Russian because they expelled by the Red Russian. He went to Hong Kong uh, or in Shanghai and, and stayed there. And then he told me he just came from Tokyo. Tokyo, so all and Manila is all ruined. It took Japan, the Japanese in no time to rebuild. But here, they are corrupt and they are take pride and everything. They never recover. It's true. <coughs> but even now, they, if you open a, a store uh, in Manila, if you don't have one cup for them to steal, you have no business. Really? Mm -hmm. So it's a store in one counter just people take Yeah. And also, uh, the handyman I got to the United States, he went to Manila. The taxi driver drive you to the suburb, and then we do the pistol. He said, give me all your money. Still, this is the, the same thing. So, <coughs> the Filipino never, never can. So, America tried to isolate them because uh, in 20 years, they think China is uh, going to be a big power economically and militarily. Uh, you don't know the Formosa incident? The Formosa president come here to the United States, and then the, the Chinese don't like it, and they fly rocket parallel to the Formosa, and then uh, the then has four, uh, three or four carrier around. You know what was under sea. There are 40 submarines around the Chinese, the, the American carrier. So they, they, they know one day China is a, a big power. But in uh, the old times, um, Heck, John was the State Department head. He said, uh, we must make friends of China because uh, the Indian influence of warship is not 8,000 miles. So we will make a friend in China, then an enemy. So you know the concession in Shanghai, British concession, French concession, but there's a common concession. The American thing it's not to have China in the small pieces, though they have uh, to end all the concessions, common concession. So, um, 
it's a, a pity that China don't make friends of uh, America. The American ambassador, Dr. Stewart, was the Yanjing, the chancellor in university, uh, now speaking university, no? and um, he was waiting in Nanking for a year, but uh, the Chinese uh, signed it. Signed it uh, Pack with uh, Russia. Actually, it's a very little money, Stalin. Uh, uh, you know about the Chinese rocketry? Yeah. You know the the Chinese crowd, the book. You, do you read? He Chen Chen Shushan. Is an expert in in rocketry because he learned from the German and the teach in the Berkeley, California. But uh, MacArthur, yeah, because in 1934 he attended one communist concert, wanted to expel him, so he gathered together his data and so forth and got and bought ship already. To come in, but uh, to come back to China, but then the after he discovered he's an expert in rocketry. I say, well, you you stay on. You know, you know, stay. We're not going to expect you know, I'm going going home. So he went. He went. Uh so how about how many brothers and sisters? I got one brother and one sister and one and the one half brother, one half sister. Yeah. And where where did they live? Oh they uh the older brother and sister away. Uh -huh. And then uh mm -hmm. number ten. Okay. And I have a brother and sister, one is in Shanghai, one is in uh, Tianjin, China. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. where my yeah. dad is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, interview and play. Kind of tough. What's your subject? Yeah. Subject is stories about each of you, China. That's one. And two is story about how you came to America. Three is how did you meet your husband. Well, <laughs> what you, uh, you a computer, what do you, uh, what's this subject for? It's for history. History? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Computers is no big deal. It's very important. Oh, no, it's, it's, no, it's not about family. Oh, not family. It's about family. Family. Yeah. So that's, family camp is just one way to collect the stories. See, because everybody's... <laughs> so that was why I wanted to do it. Yeah, that's family. what... Next week, there's someone is going to interview for us. Uh, uh, so next week, what? Something's happening? Somebody uh, has a thesis about the uh, early uh, uh, the Chinese uh, students in, uh, in America. Really? We are the old, old comers. Old timers. Uh, old timers. Uh -huh. Yeah. You can go. So who's, oh, the student yeah. group is interviewing? Huh? The students China. interviewing you? Yeah, you know? yeah graduate students. Really? They are coming from a university. You know, get something really? to months, huh? Yep. Huh. 
China, uh, Shanghai, 60 years reunion high school. Uh, in October, I'm going to Australia. We have friends there, and uh, all 80 years old. It's quite a few. <laughs> the youngest was 80 years old. So we're going to celebrate 80 years old together. Really? Mm -hmm. So any of your roommates here? Uh, I have a classmate, not room, yeah, roommate in uh, Los Angeles. I'm going to uh, Australia with her. Oh, yeah, for that corner. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 So this is work school? Yeah, yeah. girls, uh, high school and girl, girls. But my college years is the first in Nanking. Yeah. And then yeah. war started and the second year in Shanghai. Yeah. And then third and fourth year in uh, do Sichuan. Ah, you so much. Oh, I should be That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Who yeah. money? How much? No money. I don't know money. <laughs> First <laughs> of, the, of the day. Huh? First of the of the day. <laughs> what is your color? La. Hula! 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 This number is four. Seven. Ms. Woman. Ms. Woman Ming. I don't know. You say you need to travel. Three. Who's three? Ten. 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 Yeah, you done yet? No. Hey, where's the... Waiting for the... Oh, here's the... Uh, this uh, is a pretty... Uh, I'm looking... Looking at a uh, camp... Uh, oh, yeah, these are... Uh, this is... One, uh, I think it's even smaller. I don't see that, you know, maybe you got it in Hong Kong. I knew it was handy. 
So you can uh, other people now turn, right? No, not even started yet. You go So tell me about coming to America. Coming to America, we are uh, uncle. No, were you already married? Oh, yeah, we are old. Married. When did you get married? 1941. Yeah. yeah. How did you meet Uncle Yang? We met in school in uh, China, the all five universities together. Yeah, when the war time, we uh, went to, to uh, West. Japanese or something. Yeah. So there's a uh, lot of uh, five university. Four one is the the host. Four is from o other places. Mm. So we had a lot of fun at <laughs> that time. Wow. It was still in the war. So everyone had to move. How far was that? Oh, it's very. It took us uh, two, two months or something to get there because there is no regular. A ship or bus or anything you have to go uh, okay. look for. A truck. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So that was so what? Took us 30, 19. For, uh, 1938, we went to. Well, you have to gradually. Ask years, yeah. Ask what happened to? Otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah. 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 1940, graduate from college. So we came here for the eight. See, I'm mm -hmm. old. Uh, okay. So you married to Uncle Liao in 41. Yeah. War. In the war. So how did you meet exactly? What did you find? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> yeah, Roman. <laughs> okay. So then. Uh, yeah. in college, which is. Yeah. Uh, so how did you decide in America? What was the. Well, that time he uh, he wants uh, to see uh, a yeah, hospital animation. Uh -huh. No, so we didn't uh, not not the uh, in China usually it is the doctor be the superintendent of the uh, hospital. We didn't business class because uh -huh. here. So. So okay. did Uncle Liao just apply all over? Uh, we know a friend who's uh, mm, who work in University of Chicago, so oh. he, he applied. Hmm. That was the connection. So mm -hmm. just University of Chicago or else? No, oh. it's just at in, in Chicago, uh, in, I mean, hospital administration. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. just, and that was the one thing he did. Uh, and then, well, when the FT first year he graduated, the uh, so second year he's supposed to be intern. Yeah. He didn't intern, so he did degree, and he got in the residency for University of Chicago uh -huh. I ophthalmology department.
What did you know about America where you came? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Oh, yeah. That time everyone wants to, like now, everyone wants to go to America, it's you know. Mm -hmm. So you just decided, oh, let's go. Cool. Let's go, it's that easy. We yeah. have to. What uh, did you have to do? We have to. Uh, that time is very hard for Chinese uh, mm -hmm. to get a test. So we were living in uh, Guangzhou. So we have a large firm in Macau. So we went to Macau to become a Macau citizen and apply to Macau, which is oh. easier. Oh, yeah. Well, because Macau is uh, Portugal, uh, right? Yeah. yeah. So we, we came out. Oh, so uh, Portuguese, Portuguese citizen. citizen. <laughs> That you 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 just uh, give the lawyer some money and then you take care of it. How long was that part? That wasn't hard. We just come to Macau for two days and it's done. <laughs> <laughs> also, then now your Portuguese citizen apply for visa to America. Yeah. Oh. But we apply a visa is in China to apply it. How long did it take all that? That to me is, uh, I think if we know right away if it's yes or no. Mm -hmm. And she was that, that time, they don't, they don't give you a wife to come. Oh, really? But we happened to run into that council. He is, was a graduate of University of Chicago. So he heard that we're coming to University of Chicago. It's real nice. Uh -huh. And then, uh, you know. <laughs> Yeah. And then advise us to, uh, you can go to international to stay and this and that. So he, he let us go, right. two of us. Wow. Yeah. Oh, where it's just like Uncle Leo gets to go and you stay or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you just, you tonight you have been finished this interview. <laughs> so detailed. Oh, that's, that's, that's good. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh -huh. You say you're leaving at noon time. How can you go? It's noon. Well, everybody, that's okay. Just get back and get. Well, you had enough for me. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? Came, I, $400, I had a school fees, $75 something, and they got an apartment, $62, and then a grocery, 100 something. All gone. Mm. And, uh, I had a trunk up in the uh, uh, hospital. Dr. Sun was there, and I have a big trunk. I went from uh, Midway to Greenwood. I was there uh, taxi cab free. I just tumbled my, my, away across me. That's a job, huh? to Glenwood. Uh, those people that I live in a special apartment, they show me, where are you going? I say, going to just a, a few blocks away. He said, I, uh, I take you there. So he got my tongue into his tongue and drove me oh, to got the car. Uh, and uh, because the first I want to find out that job as waiter or something. So I say the ten cents, coffee and walk instead of taking a bus. We did the same thing. Oh, I took a, yeah. uh, I uh, so uh, spend the ten cents for the a walk and the husband. Yeah, and the after, walk, after we walk. done that, we should have just spend it. But yeah. but we started. We want to say that way. We we did the same thing. We were like so far a long walk. Let me ask you for both. Is what uh, what kind of, what kind of lessons do you think made it that you know four hundred dollars nothing? Well, we just at this time we were young. We won't worry as much, you know, just we can just work hard and make it. We take all the all kind of jobs, whatever we can do. Uh, okay, Leo, what do you think? What was the... The center, now, now Civic Center, used to be a restaurant called Hosei Kai. Yeah, Hosei Kai. Yeah, you worked there? 
Yeah, we both were there. One time. The other. <laughs> one time the other. How much? What was the pay? How much? Not much. Uh, a dollar something. Well, anyway, my, my wife uh, is a cashier. Every time he, she eats, she lost uh, uh, a dollar something because uh, somebody steal from the from the cash register. Yeah. And it was a, a hostess. So called Metro I get the. Uh, maybe thirty dollars a week or something but uh, I get fired out of a week and uh, the waiters they have uh, all station different station yeah. their station change every time I forgot the station and and assigned table wrong right and then the, the, the wait just cuss me and uh, mm. I sat down to smoke a cigarette. Uh, I'm the chair. The smokers pure right, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, uh, I stop uh, uh, and take a cigarette and get fired yeah. after a week. Oh. But uh, it's uh, it's the so side we get the. Uh, that was a quarter for the white uh, back and forth of 50 cents and we, we make very little money and uh, who's that guy is uh, uh, I, I can I go to the kitchen to get my top suit to eat and my wife uh, always uh, can sit and eat and they, they serve her uh, but she lost a dollar each time she eats. Mm. So uh, uh, somebody come later, they ask me, uh, uh, am I have more hardship than when you come? I say, I'm harder than you. <laughs> and we were in a restaurant. When, uh, he, he said, come here. After a week, he said, the, uh, I'm a waiter. I was a waiter, and my, my wife is a cashier. She, she said, "This is no good. No, we don't want any waiter. Uh, uh, next week you can eat, but uh, uh, we, we don't need uh, a limited waiter." So I went to eat, so that was and name. I still remember he's very kind to us. Mm -hmm. But he so let, let you come and eat again. Even though I didn't Come a good wife worked there, yeah. and uh, I got a job. Uh, I was uh, in the administration, uh, hospital administration at that time. Seventy-five dollars for the school fees and and uh, up in the restaurant to, to get get by. Mm -hmm. So uh, your father's uh, okay. She, she, he he got a, a job. Mm -hmm. Plus we got to move out to the Orc. Right? Yeah. That was probably later, then we got a little better all at the time. <laughs> you, you, may well, what? you live in the... Well, everybody lived in Hyde Park, right? Before you born. Well, yeah, for one you, time. Yeah. You live a missionary in China. He, she uh, has a house and they live there. So uh, he, she uh, treat the Chinese student like mm. where is she where? I don't know out there. Wait, they have a horrible story. Oh yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. So what was the What's this is? They have a kitchen in the basement. One time we're cooking there. Some for some reason. She said, I cannot cook at this restaurant for some reason, something. So Uncle Yang was so mad. <laughs> we get that hour to the cook there. She really treated us like, like often. Like he said, they, they said, oh, you're poor, you, you're helpless, and so they come. Oh, for the church, they tell us, oh, we really help those Chinese people. But well, actually, they get her money, but she didn't really treat us well. Yeah, well.
the mission in China as a very bad reputation because they, the Chinese always identify them with the worship and, and the, the concession and everything cut up China and then the missionary with them uh, about the same thing. So uh, the Chinese impression about the missionary is very bad. Well, at the same time, they gave, like they set up schools, they do some kind of No, they did very many good things. The, the Chinese only identified them with the Russians, the conqueror, and the... Uh, well, I, I will classify listeners there. The one who accepted school in, in Hong Kong, he was good. But we're talking about the landlady here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was there. Yeah. There's some reason that are good. Like I was, I what they said that. I don't think it's fair in that way. But it's really unusual <laughs> <use of> them. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Let me wrap it up here. I should get, uh, get going. But I wanted to thank both of you. Yeah. You know, in 1955, I went back to West China University. Yeah. Uh, that's a, that's a 75 anniversary of the medical school. And uh, my laundry woman, their two kids were so small fought on the lawn. And 85 when I went back, he's 60 already. No way. Wow. So he drove me to the Go Jai Go, it's a new scenic place uh, in West, near the Baden border. Baden lived there. And um, I said, what, what, why not come to America? So I pray in Chengdu and the, this uh, ABC woman, about 50, she said, you make too little money and I'm too old as a Spencer. So he denied his uh, at the United States. But I you let uh, help you let, uh, Paul Simon to be the president, to be the senator. And uh, he was very helpful. I, because uh, usually when we can get admission with a senator or congressman, and they write to the Hong Kong consulate, they all has a tendency of immigration. Now, that's the end. But Paul Simon put a step up, up, up until the the, uh, the commissioner, I think, in the immigration, finally got granted that the 60-year-old, he, he used to work my, in my restaurant. His mother was my clerk. And then came. I, I traveled to West Coast and got him in jail in the Chinatown and he see a garbage back outside so I said, luggage? I said, no, garbage. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I drove him, you see, from east to west uh, to east, we took the Great Hall. Over eighty dollars from 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 West Coast even to to Chicago, wow. but uh, I ran a car went this way crisscross east and west, so he he saw the Yellowstone Park and everything uh, Bradland. Yeah. So when we go west uh, go go east, we take the bus. Went this way east and west. I. I took him to Disneyland and, and Las Vegas and uh, so he came to show, uh, live in my home for two and then 
I and uh, my wife uh, both drove him to the east. When he, he said, I just discovered the American, America, American were from ran a car, five minutes is coming for. <laughs> he said, I discovered two things. One is the, the very prom and the curtain. Another thing is the stumble pick that <laughs> fell always under the bell. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we drove him to New York and then he saw the Statue of Liberty and everything. And uh, Nairo, and then uh, he from New York he left to Shanghai. But uh, he make a comment. He says, "They're so the big, or they're built all the way under the bell, under the stone." Yeah. <laughs> wow. He he's hurried back because his father was ninety something. She, she died, she is about 102, and she was my lone woman. Oh. Yeah. That's a long time. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing now? What company are you I'm, with? I'm, uh, I'm with a consulting company yeah. called Born Engine Services. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And, uh, it's, uh, the scenic place. They just just discovered it recently, oh, yeah. and uh, I, philosopher, that tree, the woods. Uh, when I went there, it was uh, new. The bedding, everything is new and so forth. But the British, when they get to one place, they preserve. I can, I think that just like Switzerland, if. Uh, we do it, it's good, but uh, the roads, bears, hard to get there. He drove us there. And, uh, I was always thinking about first hot water. Yeah. You have so much dead tree, you can build a reservoir and have, uh, have uh, hot water. And then uh, the toilet so bad, you can. Uh, Septic tank under the the, the mountain is uh, too little space for for for, for toilet, uh, but you can do a septic and develop the place and golf course and then helicopter go fly there and do a good like a whole to go there, but uh, the government. The West China government is too poor to build the road. But even now, up to now, the place used to be primitive. That's good. But uh, now I say they, they spoil the place very badly and, and garbage everywhere and so forth. But uh, I was always dream to develop that place if I could get my way. Hot water. Blue good <laughs> and then golf course and so forth and you go in another Switzerland. Yeah. It's a near the, the Tibetan recite there. Yeah. You have waterfall, everything and very good <laughs> very, the whole people always go there now. Even now the reason Chinese come I say, Hey you been go jai jai go uh jai go You've been there this years, but I talked to one man. Well, how's this place? It's a name earlier. It's very primitive, but they, they spoil now. But uh, that place is to be developed. Yeah. Yes, uh, but, uh, well, are you done with the interview? I think okay. I better do this.